Hello everyone. This is Lori from Grammy's Keepsakes and I have three journals that I finished that are all ready to go that I'd like to take a walk through. They're all four signatures and I believe they're each 192 plus pages in them. They have a hollow back spine and they are um, books that I made and they're covered in wallpaper and I have Bloom, Angel, and Lady. So let's take a walk through. We'll start with Lady. Here I collaged a vintage doily and a old receipt and some lace and a little ticket and an image. The image and the ticket are from the kit. And all of these are made from Artie Mays kits. And each has a packet of goodies of lots of ephemera for you to play with. And inside the front cover here I have a pocket, a library pocket made from wallpaper and the story begins and I left the back open so you can put another tag in and this kit is Artie Mae's Shabby Chic beautiful beautiful and I have some of my Kool-Aid dyed paper and I have some coffee dyed Tracing paper in here, Edith Holden, other coffee dyed papers, some of my lace coffee dyed paper, and this is from a hymnal. Here I have a little pocket, some scrapbook paper, coffee filter, drawing paper. The center of the signature I use a five hole pamphlet stitch this kit was a lot of fun to work with More of the Kool-Aid dyed paper and the hymnal. Isn't it pretty? It's gorgeous. And here in the center signature I have got a Kool-Aid dyed envelope with the little library card and a paper clip. This flaps open. Lots of room for journaling. And room for decorating of course. Pretty butterfly. Another little envelope. And little tickets do fall in. Our tags do fit. And this is a large shipping tag. And it'll fit in there also. Here, I'll just leave that in there. That's a fun Kool-Aid dyed, kind of a grape color. Love the sound of this tracing paper, isn't that wonderful? I got it, uh, it's a 12 inch roll and it's um, called Canary Speedball 
tracing and drawing paper that I got on clearance at Hobby Lobby. And I was playing with it and just did some coffee dyeing. I just painted the coffee right onto it and let it dry it on the kitchen table. I just love this page. And on this page I've got a trifold tags. I left them together so you can use them for a lot of journaling space. And I just have them clipped onto the hymnal page with a little paper clip. And I curl the ends of them. So much room for journaling, isn't there? It's wonderful. And the little coffee dyed, um, or the coffee filters could be glued too, so then they could become a pocket. Leave that up to you. And I have a book plate. This book belongs to, and this is Lady and her ephemera. And then we have Angel, and again, it's an Artie Mays kit. It's Victorian children, and I've got collaged the little girl and some Kool-Aid dyed paper, some music paper, and a piece of the um, text book pages that I got um, from Annalise Journaling in Sweden. And little angel. And her little goodies. And again with the wallpaper, library pocket, and the tag, and I left the back open again. And some more um, graph paper that is Kool-Aid dyed. And vintage shorthand paper. The coffee filter. And the floral tray dyed paper that I have. Scrapbooking paper. This paper is my lace dyed, but I dyed it with wine, with burgundy wine, and it turned out this beautiful blue-purple color. Isn't that gorgeous? Coffee dyed paper. And here's a little pocket with a trifold tag. Oh, let's see. We'll play with it a little bit. And more of the Kool-Aid dyed paper. It goes with the kit so well, I think. There's that little girl that I put on the front cover. There are the four signatures. I 
and this is um, coffee dyed vellum. There's another pocket with an index card. Some more of the wine dyed lace paper. And I have scanned them and I put them in my Etsy shop as digitals. In the center. When I was doing the wine dyeing, um, I, it kept evaporating with the alcohol in it. It kept evaporating so quickly. So I don't know that I will be able to do that um, on a regular basis to, to sell the real paper in my shop. But from time to time, what I'll do when I have a batch is put it in as a special item in the shop. Here's another little trifold tag. This one's a little different. Here's some more of that lace paper. I love how it comes out kind of ombre looking. Boy, my house smelled like I'd been drinking the day that I made that. I was doing it for hours, and yes. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I just love it. I hope you like it as much as I do. that beautiful? The artwork that Artie Mays does in her kits is absolutely astonishing. It is so wonderful. And here is um, coffee dyed tracing paper. Here's another little pocket with an index card. And here I've got another little girl with an altered paper clip. And this is, um, I just cut a couple banners, layered them up, and fussy cut a butterfly out and stitched it on top of some cheesecloth and I just stitched it onto the paper clip and you can use her for a little journaling spot. There we won't cover her face. I like how this turned out. It's purple, but it has the pink and the blue tones of what makes the purple. And this is Angel with her goodies. And here I have Bloom. And this is a seed packet that I did glue it shut and glue it on there. And here's some leaves that I die cut 
and um, used ink and just kind of colored them in. I like main, making my own flowers from paper. Here's one of the little examples of just little paper flowers that I make. I've got tons of them. I use them quite a bit to decorate the covers of my um, mini albums. But we'll put those there. And we've got goodies inside for Bloom also. And here I've got another tag with the wallpaper pocket. And here's a collage tag that I just used a gardening magazine, some um, cheesecloth, uh, music paper, and an encyclopedia page. And the story begins. And this is all about spring. It, this um, kit, oh, here's a, another um, seed packet and tag. And it's a, a working little pocket. But this kit is called Spring a Bloom. And here I made a little pocket with a, a seed mail order form. Kool Aid dyed paper. And this is from a gardening magazine. And more of the tracing paper. And this is a fold-out from a gardening magazine that talks about um, different species, how to grow them, how big they're going to get. Just some fun information. And then here on this parchment paper, I've coffee dyed it, and I've um, put some digital stamping on it. I'm learning. I'm working my way through some of the tutorials from the Graphics Fairy on how to play with Photoshop and PicMonkey. And yes, it's a labor of love. And, but I'm practicing. More of the drawing paper. And um, the drawing paper is uh, from Hobby Lobby. It's for dry media, smooth surface, 80 pound. Got it on clearance at Hobby Lobby for $2. Not bad. Get 48 sheets in there, so I got lots of fun to play with there. I love this page, that old calendar. And this is from another gardening page, and the um, book isn't very wide, and so when we come to the other part of the signature, here's the other part of it. So what I did was I glued on a piece of scrapbook paper, or in the first signature, I, I glued on um, music paper, and then it became a pocket. So that's what this is about. And here's another one of the information sheets. The tulips. My tulips are getting ready to bloom. And from the gardening magazine. I've taken from a few different gardening magazines. I'm antsy for spring. Isn't that pretty? The blue and the pink.
He has a little pocket with another little seed order form. Here's a pocket with a trifold tag, inked it up. Here's an, uh, a little cricket on the parchment paper. Here's a Kool-Aid dyed envelope in my center here with an index card. And the little seed order form. Here's another pocket with a little piece of ephemera. my floral tray dyed paper. I've got, I made digital um, kit out of those and put in my shop as well. It's another little seed form. in the back of the book. And this is Bloom and Lady and Angel. And all three of these books are available in my Etsy shop. Gotta, don't forget the goodies for Bloom. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.